Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sadie's Not One Two, back at y'all again. Okay, so this video is gonna be a pregnancy update. So my update is that um, I still get nauseous from time to time. Um, still a lot tired, and um, what else? Shortness of breath from time to time, and. Um, pretty much my appetite I'm not going to say that it picked up because to me it really hasn't um, I've been eating a little bit more but the thing about me eating more is I feel sick after eating more so um, I think I'm going to cut back like to what it was before and um, yeah so I will this ain't going to be a long video at all um I will just uh, basically show you guys my stomach and I am about to, uh, this will be my 18 week update. Um, so, four and a half months and this is, this is what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like. My bump starting to show now. Where's your bump, Mama? So, where's your excuse the stretch marks? But that is pretty much all I got. Um, yeah. So that is really much my update because I can't really think of anything else. Um. Oh, besides my face still breaks out from time to time, as you can see. Not so much, not a lot on this side, mostly this side. So, uh, if I if I miss a day or two on using the Neutrogena, <laughs> it acts up really bad. Um, the moisturizer that I'm using right now is the Nivea. Um... And I really like that. And when I remember, which hazel. And it helps calm it down or whatever. Um, but like I said, if I lighten up on this, then all hell breaks loose. So right now all hell is breaking loose because I think I missed two days of washing with that. I just pretty much had washed my face, moisturized. And went on about my day. And I guess that was not good enough for my face. So, like I said, all hell breaks loose when I don't do it. So, therefore, I'm trying to stay on it um, as much as I can. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my update, guys, uh, on pregnancy. Um, I'll try to do more videos on my pregnancy. But right now, it's like not that much to report. Um... I have felt him move. Uh, I have revealed before that I am having a boy and his name will be Kendrick. Um, I call him KJ because he is a junior. So um, that's pretty much all I got for y'all. Um, as far as for my stretch marks though, so that I don't get them this time, I have been using this stuff that I ordered online. I had seen a review for it on um I seen a review for it on uh Instagram. Well I seen it on Instagram and a lot of the reviews were good. I've been using the Silky Skin Custard and um that's what I've been using and it looks like this. And it says that the ingredients is love raw African Shea butter, cold pressed olive oil, pure vitamin E oil, uh, green tea extract, essential herbal oils. I mean, essential herbal blend. That's what it says. But I'm also going to start um, using some more uh, oils on my belly as well because I've been having some itching. So the itching is on the lower part where I already have stretch marks. Um, I'm hoping I don't get them all over or anything like that because when I got stretch marks with my first pregnancy, it was pretty much my last two, 
to three weeks of pregnancy is when I got them. And I was like, what the heck? And the whole time I had been using the mineral oil and whatnot. Because everybody's like, oh, use a thick oil. So I did. Did not work. Because he started dropping. And I guess my stomach was just stretching or something. So, um, But I had only gained 18 pounds during that pregnancy. And so far with this pregnancy, um, I think I've gained six or seven pounds. So not that many. Um, praying not to to go over 18 pounds with this pregnancy so um because I'm trying to bounce back and get right back into shape after this baby because pretty much we've already planned um for our third child after KJ is born um we're gonna wait try to wait a year but um honestly that's pretty much in God's hands as to what happens um in the timing because we don't really plan on using protection or me being on any birth control because I had some hell with the uh, Mirena, um, you know, and trying to conceive. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get pregnant and I thought I was having issues, but really there was no issues. The timing just was not there. So, um, at the end of the day, it's all about the timing and whatnot and, you know, it's really not in our hands. So, um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Um, and that's all I got for y'all. Alright, I hope you all have a great day.